All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Truck in California with Velox 18. What are you staring at? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, because I'm naked. Yeah, my face is naked. And uh, time to shave that scraggly, nasty beard. We're back to being baby faced. And uh, it's time to get in the truck and run another one of these local loads for the direct customer. We're gonna go run over to Gilroy today and then we gotta look for some more loads. So let's get in the truck and roll down the road. Roll the music, let's go! Back to the mud pit. Man, this sucks. It's not even raining today, it's just kind of wet. Could be worse. Oh well, let's go get checked in. Alright, so I checked in over there, and then they said, uh, they said, so they, you check in and then they give you like a little a little sheet thing right here and a little receipt. And then he said, uh, hey, uh, you know where the office is? And I said, no, not really. And he says, right over there, just across the railroad tracks to the left. They have your paperwork over there. So I gotta come over here and get my paperwork and then go back and uh, wait for them to give me a doc, assign me a doc. So I don't know why the paperwork's over here this time. I've never had this happen, but kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. We'll see what we'll see what this means. Why uh, why I'm having to come all the way over here? We'll see. I don't know, but hey, it's paved over here. At least I'm not walking in mud. All right, we got our paperwork. We put the little um, Manila envelope in the back for the loader, and we backed up to the dock. So everything went pretty quick. Um, I asked the lady. I said I've never had to come over here. She goes, Really? This is the norm. And I was like, Oh, every time I've come, they've had my paperwork in the shed. Oh no, this is this is usually where you have to do it. Okay. It's like my sixth, no, eighth, eighth time here. First time I've had to go over there, so. Hey, it's just the way it is. A little bit of a walk, get my exercise in. Maybe get rid of some of these chins I got, okay? That's the only thing about the beard. The beard hid the hid the neck. I gotta lose some weight. Alright. Um that's not uh that's that's that, that's a topic for another day. All right? All right? But I am sugar free on the Rockstar. Not on anything else. All right. We're going to get loaded up and then uh, we'll get headed over to Gilroy. I'm looking at these load boards. In fact, I looked at the load board before I left the yard as I was letting the truck warm up. So I'll show you guys what the load board looked like back then uh, to see what, what kind of loads we're looking at today because uh, gotta find something after we run over to Gilroy, we gotta get something else on the truck. So here it is. All right, so here's what we're looking at this morning uh, on the load board. This is uh, the loads we can find with, between uh, within, within 150 miles of Gilroy and 400 miles, delivering 400 miles of Bakersfield. Um, there's 43 exact loads, um, which means 43 loads that match my, my parameters. Um, this one, Scotland, that might be interesting, but I'd have to deadhead over to Fresno to pick it up. So, uh, there's not a lot of money on, on these loads. Um, there's a Gonzalez to Brea. I'm going to be near Gonzalez. It's 48 miles away. That's not nearly enough to entice me to go down to Brea. Hmm. 
Well, there's not a lot going on, but I like this Hillmar to Las Vegas. I can almost guarantee that's a cheese load. And I'm not set up with this broker, but uh, I'm going to have to give them a call on this one. Um, I think maybe a trip out to Vegas might start my week out just right. So, yeah, I think I'm going to call on this one. But 43 exact loads is still early, so maybe there will be more after uh, after a little while. Uh, we'll check back in um, once we get over to, to uh, the pickup. All right, so uh, I did call on that Hillmar to Vegas load, and it had already been covered. So this is, uh, that was at 6.45 in the morning. And so now at 7.45 in the morning, we're, we're down to 34 exact loads. And, uh, well, there's not a lot going on. Stocked into Irvine. That's almost 400 miles. Plus I would have 108 deadhead miles. So we'd be up pretty dang close to 500 miles by the time we got down to Irvine for uh, 1300 not ideal um let's see modesto to la it's probably the same load because uh, scott lynn likes to do that where they kind of show like different markets different pickup and drop off locations for the same load to try and grab people's attention i think it's kind of silly not silly i think it's dishonest because sometimes i'll call in a load thinking hey this one's picking up in let's say modesto and delivering to la and then i find out it's picking up in sacramento delivering to irvine and i'm like that's a lot more miles man <laughs> but uh anyway so um it's kind of kind of thin today man not a lot going on in the load boards um might have to do something local like this uh parlier to stockton or this gustine to Oakland um, but we'll have to wait and see what uh, what we can come up with uh, here in a little bit because it is it's not looking like there's a lot of options I'll just put it like that I'll put it like that all right so uh, let's see what happens let's get loaded up all right um, so I was just grinding on the uh, on the load board on the DAT load board and what I did I just kept refreshing and then looking at the new loads, refreshing, looking at the new loads, refreshing, looking at the new loads. And um, I believe this one was a new one, but um, it didn't have a uh, an offer on it, uh, meaning that they, did, they weren't setting a price, uh, at least not on the DAT. Um, so it was kind of, I usually sort by the, the offers that, the, you know, the, the rates that they, they're offering. Um, so the ones that don't have a rate, to offer are listed down on the bottom. So I may have just needed to scroll down a little further. I'm not sure. I don't remember if it was there or not, but nevertheless, there was a load uh, loading out of Gonzalez, which is about 45 miles away from where I'll be in Gilroy. And, um, and it goes down to Mira Loma down in Southern California, um, down in the Inland Empire. So I called on that one and they're offering a lower rate than what I would normally like to, uh, to take. But it's a Costco load, and uh, basically I tried to get a little more out of them, and they said, you know, there's there's so little freight out here today. This is actually a, a bid load, so we bid on this, and so 1100 is as much as we're gonna do, and um, we don't think we're gonna have any problem getting a truck for 1100. And I I knew they were right, you know, so I could hold out for a better paying load. Um, I could have tried to find a load that, um, maybe stay, kept me local that paid like $800 instead of $1,100, but the LA market's going to be much better to, to get a load coming out of, uh, I'm getting paid for this load. That's taking me, you know, right down the road. So I, I think that it's going to work out. So we got a load over there for 1100 and, and it's not, it's not ideal, but, uh, it keeps the truck moving. And uh, I think because it's Costco, it should unload quickly tomorrow. And uh, I should be able to, to get, you know, get a, another load on the truck tomorrow to bring back to Northern California and uh, make a little bit of money on that one. Hopefully that one makes up for, you know, the few hundred dollars that I'm, 
I'm kind of missing out on on this load. But nevertheless, uh, that's uh, that's the update on what the the loads are doing right now and what what our plan is because uh, you know it's not a busy day, not a busy day. There is. Hold on. Let me let me tell you the current the current uh, number of loads right here for the DAT load board from 150 miles of Gilroy delivering to within 400 miles of Bakersfield. There's 28 loads, 28 loads. And there's Sacramento to LA for 1200. Sorry, camera's getting crazy. Um, you know, Tracy all the way down to Colton, which is right there near Mariloma, uh, which is 400 miles. Um, they're, they're asking for 850 on that. So I think I got a good, a good rate for today for 1100, but it's not a good rate for like, every other day of the of the year <laughs> but anyway uh that's it um let's uh they're picking the load right now they're going out and uh, loading up one of those little trains with all of the freight that they're going to put on this truck and then they'll bring it over and they'll load up the the trailer so we uh we'll probably be here another hour or so um while they pick the load and then load it up but uh then we'll get over to head to gilroy get unloaded and go over and get reloaded in uh, Gonzales, so I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, you guys come along with me on this uh, little journey we're on today. And um, it's kind of hard leaving the house on a Monday, not knowing if I'm going to come back that night or if I'm going to be gone for all, the whole week. It's weird. It's every every Monday morning that I have one of these local loads, and I don't have anything pre-booked. It just feels weird because I'm like, all right, well, uh, see you guys. Maybe uh, maybe I'll be home for dinner. Maybe I'll be home by like you know lunchtime. I don't know, but probably will be gone all week see you guys later <laughs> uh anyway all right let's see what happens let's see how long this takes all right we're loaded up and trucking folks and uh got out of the mud pit so that's good we are headed over to gilroy headed over to gilroy we'll make uh this delivery and then we'll make a uh then we'll make a pickup in Gonzales, and then after that, we will head down to Ontario, Miraloma, Eastvale, Baruch Valley, kind of right there in that. It's like if you go across the street, you're in Baruch Valley. If you go down the street, uh, one direction, you're in. Eastvale. If you go under the freeway, you're in Ontario, but the address says Miraloma, so I'm assuming Miraloma is somewhere in there too. Maybe uh, maybe across the freeway on the other side, so I don't know. But uh, anyway, so that's where we're headed, and uh, I was just on the phone with Coyote trying to book a load for tomorrow already, so I'll be trying to pre-book a load for tomorrow uh, so that we can get out of that uh, LA... Uh, Inland Empire, Southern California market with a load uh, as early as possible tomorrow. And the loads are looking good down there for today and tomorrow, but then they kind of drop off on Wednesday, Thursday, uh, which I think is going to be the story of this week. Everything's gonna get, they're going to try and move everything early in the week so that nothing gets, uh, they don't want anything to be stuck on a truck on, on Friday because uh, it's not going to get delivered until until Monday. There's no weekend work. There's no overtime getting put in on Friday. None of that. It's Christmas time, man. Christmas time. Christmas time is here. But, uh, all right. We're going to head over Pacheco Pass, Highway 152, and uh, get get over there to Gilroy. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's rock and roll. Let's do it. All right, we broke out of that gloomy weather we were in into some sunshine some california sunshine folks uh we're up here on uh Pacheco pass uh, we'll be going by uh, casa de fruta they got truck parking up there a little restaurant gas station so kind of a cool spot but uh yeah i'm happy to see the clouds break a little bit and uh, keep on trucking down the road. All right. 
right, uh, we got over here at 10.30 for our 11 a.m. appointment, and now we just gotta get over into this stupid dock that's over here and uh, get offloaded. Oh, it looks like someone's already already in that dock. Uh, maybe I should, is he pulling out? I can't tell if he's pulling, okay, yeah, it looks like he's pulling out. All right, let me go get in this dumb dock and go from there. Hopefully they move this little uh, tote out of the way because that's the only way I'm going to be able to make this uh, dock. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's pretty much right, right in the way. I'm going to go in there have to talk to these guys. Tell them we need to get that thing moved. All right, we got out of there and uh, we uh, we do have. The stinking muddy trailer again so I'm gonna go get this thing washed out and um, hopefully even though it's sunny right now there's supposed to be a big storm coming this whole week up in Northern California so hopefully uh, uh, nobody's washing their truck today and I can just get in get this thing washed out and then we can uh, get on our way down to uh, Gonzalez to go pick up our load so uh, I don't know how long that one's gonna take. We'll see, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get down there. And uh, the earliest appointment they had was 3 p.m. So that's when we're gonna go over there to pick up. Uh, it's currently 11 a.m. So we got four hours to kill. So we'll, uh, we'll we'll make it happen though. We'll make it happen one way or another. We're gonna make it happen. So uh, anyway, let's get on our way. Uh, well, I'll check in with you guys when we get the uh, trailer washed out. How about that? Super dirty. All that mud. All right, we got that trailer washed out. Now we're just uh, trying to get out of here. This is uh, the garlic farm uh, truck stop over here in Gilroy, and uh, it's uh, it's it's kind of cool. You got a little general store they got some places to eat and stuff but I kind of feel like some Mexican food and where I'm gonna be picking up is right down the street from uh, the little taco truck that I went to late at night so if that truck is there during the day as well as at night then uh, that's what I'm gonna get if they're gone then there's another little place on the corner that I'll walk down to so either way, my plan is to get myself some Mexican food because uh, I'm I'm feeling like uh, some Mexican food. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, um, we're over here in Gonzales, California, and uh, as I suspected, that um, that little taco taco uh, truck taco trailer that is over there by Taylor Farms that I went to one night a couple months back. Um, it's just a nighttime truck. It's not there. It's not parked there right now. So there's a little little Mexican food place right here on the uh, on the corner. And so I'm gonna go over here, and it's uh, Taqueria El Famoso. So we're gonna go get some some food right now. Some yummy food. Actually, they kind of look closed. Hopefully, they're not closed. If not, we'll be walking into town a little further to go get some some food. But uh, either way, I'm gonna get some food. Let's do this. All right, we got ourselves a torta, chips, Coca-Cola. Ooh, that toast is looking good. So this is my feast. Oh yeah, and it tastes good. All right, we just pulled in off the street, and uh, now we're gonna go check in. It's about 2:40. We have a 3 p.m. appointment, so. Let's go check it in over here. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. All right, we got loaded. Slide our tandems back. And uh, man, look at this. Look at this sunset we got right now, bro. It's 
is freaking awesome. Close this thing, get out of this guy's way. All right, let's do this. Let's get out of here. Slide those tandems back underneath the trailer. Get a good view of this uh, of this um, sunset and get the heck south. Let's go. All right, we got squeezed by this guy parked in the no parking zone so we can get out. Blocking the driveway, but we made it. Oh man, I just looked up. You know, I was looking down at this. It was just two minutes went by and all of that pink and orange disappeared now we're <laughs> now we are no longer having a pretty sunset we just got some clouds above some hills uh, it's all good we're gonna be headed south um, it is now uh, what time is it? I think it's five yeah 507 so we're gonna start heading south. Uh, we should be there by about, I don't know, um, should be about six hours. Not a long drive. It's maybe six and a half if I stop and get something to eat, but it's uh, not, nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Let's see, this guy looks like he's just gonna park across the street from me. I'm blocking the entrance now. I feel like, is there another way to get out? Because that just seems silly, but I don't know. I don't know. No, it doesn't come out over here. I was thinking maybe there's a driveway over here I missed. No, there's not. But uh, anyway, all right. We'll get down the road and get uh, get get on down to Southern California. And uh, yeah, we're going trucking, folks. We're going trucking. Let's go. Like things that you might, you know, 
want to click on and it was like it was like uh, Easter pickup lines <laughs> like what? I can get a list of Easter pickup lines if I just click on that link I mean I don't know what kind of what kind of pickup lines can you do on Easter I, I didn't click on it I, I'm, I'm kind of having fun just imagining what it would be like, hey baby <laughs> no, I can't do it I can't do it I can't do it it's blasphemous all right um, so this is where we're gonna wrap up the video though um, I'm kind of disappointed because I I had bid on a load that picks up tonight and delivers tomorrow morning in San Diego it was a convoy load and I bid $2,100 and I got under bid they they alerted me on like uh, Saturday that I had been under bid and so I was like oh well you know I keep looking for loads that's just what I do someone had had decided to haul that load for like uh, I want to say like 15 50 or something like that was was what the rate that it ended up you know that they booked it for and lo and behold apparently they fell off that load because convoy all of a sudden I got an alert on convoy you've been awarded this load and I'm like Sorry, too late, man. It's, you, can't, you can't tell me I missed out on it and then double back and try and tell me, you know, that, that, I, that I've been awarded the load. But what sucks is that's $1,000. $1,000. And it's really not that many more miles for me to backtrack into Lamore, into the valley, and then head south as it was for me to, to run down to Gonzalez and then cut over into the valley. Like, it's, it's really, really minimal uh, deadhead. It would have been a thousand dollars more, but you know I can't sit there and hold my breath for loads and wait until you know two hours beforehand and hope that they randomly get you know uh, put back up on the load board for a for a higher amount. So um, that's just that's kind of trucking. Uh, that's you know if you play the game and you try and wait until the last minute, you can strike out like a lot. I I struck out a lot in the beginning. Um, I didn't know how hard it would be to book loads at a good rate. A lot of times the loads that are left at the end are left because they have bad rates and all the truck, all the trucking companies are just leaving them sit because uh, the brokers aren't in a hurry to move them or they don't have that much money in them and so they can't move them uh, until they get someone who's desperate. So anyway, uh, so that's a little bit of a bummer. But, you know, you can't play the what if game. We're gonna get down into a pretty good market down in Southern California. Um, I actually already have some loads booked, but I'll save that for the next video um, because I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys tomorrow what uh, what we're doing. So I'll save that for then. Y'all have to tune in to the next episode of Trucking California with Bedlocks 18 to find out what the heck we're gonna do. But uh, today we did that one local load, and now we're gonna get this load down to Mira Loma, sleep, and we'll deliver it in the morning. So not a bad day. Could have made more should have made more but you know you can't you can't uh, win them all and so uh, we made the best decision we could make this morning at 7 30 8 30 whatever time it was when we booked this load and uh, just got to go from there so stay tuned see you guys next time see you on the next load love you guys peace out This angle doesn't do anything for my double chains either. It's really a bummer. This is why I had a beard. Alright, for real. Love you guys. Peace.